Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Renus. I am your product specialist for today and we're going to go over Adobe Typekit. So Adobe Typekit is a font distributor that's done through your name licenses in Creative Cloud. It also works together with Captivate and a few other programs along with the uh, that is related to Adobe. So what it does is it allows you to set up your fonts the way you want to you can uh, filter through a lot of the different fonts, whether you're looking for a particular serif or sans serif, a black letter, or even a monospace, depending on what you're trying to find in different styles of font to dress up your project to make it look a lot nicer, a lot prettier. That is, uh, or even just to convey a message across, that's where Typekit comes into play. So to access Typekit, there are multiple different ways, different venues for you to work with. You can go to adobe.com. Once you're actually signed into adobe.com, you can actually access Typekit from there. You can go right here and go clicking on to fonts down on the bottom left there. And then from here, you can actually see the different options for you to work with and so forth. Another way you can do it is actually setting up with either Photoshop or Illustrator. Both ways actually will have the ability to do uh, your actual ways of doing it. Actually, majority of them do. So, like, even not just strictly to Photoshop and Illustrator, you have uh, InDesign, Premiere Pro, After Effects. All of them have access to type Typekit, and you're able to access those things. So, from here, I can now go ahead and pull down the font menu here, and then from here, I can actually access Typekit by clicking on the button here. No, it's the same thing in Illustrator and all the other ones. Now, while here, you can actually find, you can type in the particular phrase that you're actually using. So in this case, it's, I'm using hello world. Um, it doesn't have to be strictly to what you're looking for there, or you can add in different styles of what you're looking for, like the full entire English alphabet, along with the numbers and different symbols that are available there, different phrases that a lot of people like to use, like the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, you know, little things like that. You're able to see different styles of fonts and how they interact with each other and so forth. Once you have that set, you can go to classifications and try to narrow down your search. Because right now, currently we have is a total of 1,296 font families. So we have we got to kind of narrow that down to something that's a little bit more manageable. So I can go into different styles of font. So I can go, let's go with this uh, serif this time. We can go into headings. You can try different styles that you're actually looking for. All of this is pretty much optional. So if even if you don't want to limit yourself to a certain serif, you can still look up headings. It's just going to jump up that number pretty high to find something that you might actually be looking for. So once you find something that you actually like, so let's say with this Om, uh, Omnes, uh, excuse me, Omnes particular font, we can go ahead and click on that. And this particular font family has 72 different styles of font. And each one I'm able to sync through to the uh, particular font family that I'm working with. So here's another font family that you're able to download. The name is Sans, and you're able to sync them up all the way you need to. So at any time, you can sync all fonts, and that can download straight to your Creative Cloud. And you can actually sync all of these as well. As you go down, you realize there are a couple of fonts that you might not be able to buy or you know, may be able to sync. These are premium fonts, and you're able to buy them and use them to your Creative Cloud as any time as you wish. But these fonts can all be synced up with no set of problems. There is a limitation to the number of fonts you can sync up, um, but it's a very large number. And at any time, you can always unsync a font to give wiggle room for another font that you might want to use in the future. So even if you do download a font and you find yourself not using it that often or not using it at all, uh, you can actually unsync it and then take it off your, your system. It's very simple. Just all I have to do is hit the unsync font there and... Uh, it should be good to go. Now, as you tell, I actually clicked on the sync button and it came up with the actual ability for me to download or it's telling me that I'm already downloaded. So if I go to, let's try a different one. So if I go here, let's try the Nimbus Sans Black and I hit sync. By the time I go into Illustrator, I can select all of these here. And I can change that to the Nimbus Sands black. All right. 
So as you can tell, also, uh, you can actually filter these out. So if you want to use see the entire library of fonts, you can. You can also uh, reduce it so that you can see just the ones you downloaded from Typekit. This right here is great useful tools and everything else, and you can actually preview it as you go along. All right, so that is pretty much Typekit in a nutshell. So if you want a more in-depth demo, there is a link down below, two links down below, that will be one for the request page from the form. So there's a form that you can fill out to request any of the products that you actually want to see. And then second, there's a also sign up for the daily demo, which is more of a large gamut right now of uh, just seeing what other options are available with uh, how the whole Creative Cloud works together and so forth. Again, my name is Tony Renas, and you have a wonderful day.